I've stepped in my canning kitchen this morning with y'all real quick. I'm going to make me a vegetarian lunch before I mow all day today. The reason why I'm laughing about vegetarian is y'all know I can't cook John a vegetarian meal. So this is definitely just for me. If I was going to make this for John, I might add like a chicken breast, a cooked chicken breast with it or something. But um, anyway, I like to eat a lot of times just me. I just like to eat a vegetarian meal. I guess I could possibly be vegetarian but I do crave meat occasionally um so anyway this is my lunch and I came in my canning kitchen real quick because I'm gonna mow the rest of the day and it's a nice cloudy day so that's good for mowing isn't it yes um so I'm gonna show you all the things that's gonna go into it it's called I call it like a burrito in a bowl and it's a vegetarian burrito because our protein is gonna be some beans black beans is what I'm using you could use pinto beans whichever kind of beans you like to use and you can kind of make this your own little burrito in a bowl, okay? Um, mine's going to be brown rice. And I'm going to put all of the uh, measurements in my recipe because this measured out is about 380 calories, which is really good. And it's got protein in it. Um, it's got fiber in it. We're going to put purple cabbage. If you don't like purple cabbage, you could substitute that for green or some other leafy veggies so see how you can kind of make it your own it's going to have great tomatoes and lime and jalapeno little olive oil i've got some chipotle those chopped chipotle peppers in the adobo sauce which is smoked jalapenos in a tomato garlicky sauce that's all that is we've got some of these pickled onions that we made together so we'll use those i'm using brown rice you can use white rice this is already boiled in a bag rice it's a fabulous little thing for real quick and easy for yourself see that it's got tiny little holes in it you put it over in boiling water for eight to ten minutes and you've got rice so I'm using brown you can use white you could use lentils you could use wild rice you could use barley I'm trying to think of some others some type of grain like that um, that's about all I can come up oh quinoa quinoa would be good too um, we are going to put about three tablespoons of our queso fresco that we made together. I'm going to slice some avocado to go on it. So it's going to be really refreshing and good. And I'm also going to make enough where I can put it in a bowl and cover it and put it in the refrigerator. And I've got lunch for tomorrow too. So I'm going to get everything prepped and then I'm going to get close up because I know y'all are far away and some of y'all like to be right on it. So then I'm going to get you right on the food and... Um, show you exactly what to do to get you a little lunch together veggie a veggie lunch i'll see y'all in a bit all right guys our first step we cooked our brown rice in that bag and then we drained it it's ready to roll so i'm going to take about a tablespoon of olive oil and i'm measuring this so that way i know my fat content right if you don't want to just swirl you a little bit in there okay now i'm going to put my three cloves of garlic chopped in here I've got my fire on medium or your heat on medium whichever next I'm going to put one teaspoon of ground cumin right there ground cumin I've got my corn mix one teaspoon cumin's very very strong so if you don't like cumin or you don't want that much you can cut back from that you can make this your your little recipe oh I see my tablespoon pooled in there we're getting all that in there <laughs> we got to get all that goody this is cooking really well so I'm gonna turn it down on low for a minute so I don't burn my garlic oh that looks good all right let's put this rice right on in here we're basically kind of frying this rice right I know and seasoning oh my goodness can you imagine save this just to put your rice back into your little bowl it's fine and then we're just gonna cook this just a couple of minutes get it nice and seasoned and fried up real quick and we'll move on to the next step just cook for about a minute no biggie I wish you could smell it it's so fragrant so all I did was just get it real heated through good and stirred around and y'all know this isn't salted so I'm just going to give it a, a pinch of salt okay maybe like a quarter teaspoon is all all you'll be looking at 
and then we're just going to pour this right back into our bowl and we're going to get started on our next step so i've got the same saucepan don't worry about washing it out or anything like that i've got it on kind of low medium low i took my can of black beans and i opened the lid and i just used part of the lid to to squish out or to drain most of the liquid but not all of it you need a little bit of it so don't rinse and drain them just wash out most of your liquid okay you leave a little bit in there just a little just a little man does it smell good in here the only thing we're going to add to this is a tablespoon of these um chopped diced chipotle peppers and like i told y'all it's just smoked jalapenos in this tomato and garlic and onion sauce it's very 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 good it's got a smokiness to it and gives you a really deep flavor addition that's about all that was left in that jar from us making other things together i'm going to bring these to a bowl and i'm just going to let them cook for just a couple of minutes just to get nice kind of cook down some of the liquid after i bring it to a boil and i'll sit over here and stir and make sure nothing burns and y'all if you don't like black beans you certainly could use pinto beans or honestly any kind of bean you want it doesn't have to be mexican flavored this can be your dish in a bowl okay while our black beans are just simmering for a few minutes, we're going to do our next step. We've got our chopped, I quartered some grape tomatoes. You could use cherry tomatoes or you could just chop you a tomato. Either way, I'm using some of these pickled onions. I'm using about a quarter cup of those or a third a cup, I believe is really what I had. A third, a third. And I'll put, of course, all the measurements in my recipe under the title or in the description box on YouTube. And that's those pickled onions we made. That's what I'll just show you what I put in there. I've got one jalapeno that I seeded and diced finely going in there. This is a nice little fresh spot of our bowl. And then I've got a quarter cup of cilantro that I chopped. If you do not like cilantro, you could do parsley or I guess omit it all together, but I hope you like one of them. Then I'm gonna do a little sprinkle of salt just like that and I'm going to squeeze half a lime just like that get him in there to brighten everything up and then all I do to this is toss it to coat and we'll get our next step going doesn't that look good guys thinly slicing one and a third cups of this red cabbage isn't it beautiful and thinly thinly slicing i like the red and y'all know i'm gonna call this purple because <laughs> no, it's purple but um it almost has a little bit of a spicy bite to it so i love it y'all see i'm just taking my time thinly slicing i'm getting one and a third cup we've got it sliced so nicely i could just eat it just like this guys i'm gonna put one and a half teaspoons of olive oil like i say we're measuring just so we'll know how much we're putting in here of our fat and our protein and all that good stuff maybe a little pinch of salt if you want to and a squeeze of lime a teaspoon or so just like that there we are and then we're just going to toss this just like that sit it to the side and now we are going to cut up our avocado. Let me rinse my knife. And y'all know with an avocado, you just start in the middle and you go around that seed. I hit that seed, guys. So I'm going around it just like that and kind of split him in half like that. And I'm going to slice just a about four slices to go with my lunch today so that's all we'll worry about today need me a big spoon don't I to dip this out of there here we are and I'm definitely going to squeeze some lime onto him so he will not turn brown on us 
came out all in one piece and pretty, didn't it? Let's squeeze some lime here. Flip it over. And we'll squeeze some more lime. Right, guys, we put it together. We're going to get us a half a cup of this fragrant, fragrant rice. I'm going to try to make this pretty because y'all know we got to take pictures. Then I got a half a cup of those beautiful black beans I'm putting in here. Yum! <laughs> My mouth's salivating, guys. I've got one third cup of our tomato and onion and jalapeno and cilantro mixture. I'm going to put it right here. Just like that. I need me one half cup of our cabbage mixture. And y'all know me, I'm quite generous. But that's cabbage. Big deal, huh? I know, guys. And all we've got left is our quarter of an avocado. Put it right here like that. So pretty. And a lime wedge, if you like. Where should we put that? Maybe right here on our beans. And there you have it, guys. A vegetable burrito in a bowl. <laughs> yeah, I almost forgot the most important part is three tablespoons of our queso fresco, right? I know. Amy, how could you forget? Let me put that here. We're going to do about three tablespoons. So this is one. Isn't that beautiful? I'll kind of just put it right there in the middle. Two and three. That's going to be plenty. Oh, goodness. How beautiful, guys. Now, now we have our vegetarian burrito in a bowl. I'm going to go sit on my uh, front porch of this canning kitchen to enjoy this lunch. Um, Y'all know I have enough to pack me up another lunch for another day this week and just cover it and put it in the refrigerator. It's going to be delicious again. It's all fresh and wonderful. We just need to ask for the blessing on it, don't we? Dear Heavenly Father, please bless this food to nourish our bodies. Thank you so much for our friendships. Thank you for our health and being with us through the hard times and the good times, dear Lord. Thank you for this weather today so I can get out and mow and enjoy what you've created for us. In Jesus' name I pray to you. Amen. Okay, guys. I'm going to go enjoy this. I know y'all wanted to see me take a bite, and I want to take a bite for you. I'm going to get a little bit of my tomato and my beans, and I'm going to get a big bite, right? Some of this cabbage. Mm -hmm. A little bit of this avocado. And queso. Mm. Oh my gracious, y'all. Oh my gracious. I'm squeezing my lime on there. I'm going to get out here and join this before I get to go mow, but um, yum is all I can say. Please make this for yourself, and if you want to add some chicken to it, it'd be perfectly fine. Um, I'm going to do this and enjoy my mowing. I've got about a four acre yard that I mow. Then I go over to the shopping mow. Uh, and I mow my mother-in-law's yard, so I'm mowing like all day deep into about dark. So, um, I need me something good to eat, don't I? I know it. But I love to mow. It helps me to think just inside my head. It's very therapeutic for me. I am on a riding mower now. I'm not pushing that much. And I also pray and I talk to God a lot while I mow. So, um, kind of clears my head. Kind of clears my head, guys. <laughs> I love y'all and I'll see y'all later. Hey, y'all. <laughs> I just wanted to tell y'all. Y'all see how much I've got left? A good bit. And this was 380 calories. And I can't eat it all. I'm stuffed. Literally, I'm stuffed. I cannot do it, Captain. I can't. But, um, so I want to let you know that it's very filling, even though it's only 380 calories. And I didn't even eat all. There's probably 80 calories in that bowl, right? <laughs> but listen, don't think that I'm just going low calorie stuff. Y'all know better than that, right? I think the rest of the week I'm going to make several desserts. I think I want to do a tres leches cake or a three milks cake with y'all. Um, and I'm going to try to make it sort of a semi-type homemade, not all the way homemade. I always make it homemade, but I want to do it a little easier with y'all so we can throw it together real quick. 
Um, and I want to share this card that I got from Mississippi. It says it went through Gulfport, Mississippi. Is all I know, and I understand if you don't want to send me your address and everything. I get that. I sure do. I just care about what it says inside anyway. The outside of the card is cute, cute, and it says, There's nothing like a big blue sky, a day spent with you. Happiness is sunbeams and smiles. Big dreams, sunbeams and smiles. Um, it just says it over and over and over, so that's why I sound like I don't know what I'm reading. It's just sweet, sweet, sweet. And on the inside, she has written, or he, I don't know. I still don't know, do I? But um, that doesn't matter. It's a friend of ours, mine and all of ours. Amy, you are incredible, it says. I love it already. <laughs> you need... You never cease to amaze me with your skills, talent, and great faith, and your expertise in so many areas. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Y'all see why I keep these cards? They're so uplifting to me, from nurturing baby calves to making honeysuckle jelly and cheese. I no longer cook, but look forward to your videos. Some I have watched more than once. Oh, my goodness. That's so very sweet. Thank you for telling me that. Hope you have a good summer. Um, and the garden does well. Sorry I didn't have a purple card. Blessings. And um, oh my goodness, the fact that you were even looking for a purple card. This card's precious to me too. But this card is so precious to me. And thank you. I wanted to share that with all of you and show y'all how wonderful y'all are to me. Y'all make me cry. I'm trying not to right now. <laughs> And the other day when I did some of these videos, some people were saying, Oh, I see cows out your window. Those aren't real because y'all could hear it raining and y'all aren't. Some people said, Those aren't even real. Ha, ha, ha. And I'm thinking, Yeah, they are real. <laughs> Those are the cows we worked. Um, I've been trying to get that video to post on Facebook for a solid week. And right now it's at 83.83%. .83%. It posted right on to YouTube, but it won't go on Facebook. And it's so frustrating. So if it doesn't post here in the next couple of days, I'm just letting it sit there and work on it. Okay, guys? It might be a miracle, a Facebook miracle and post for us. If not, I'll just post. I'll, like, share it from YouTube. And so if you can go on YouTube, you'll be able to watch it. But it's just us working these cows. But they are real. They really are. Um... They're on out in the pasture. I'll take y'all out there real quick since this video isn't too terribly long. I know. Y'all said, well, we're going to make it long, right, Amy? Sorry, guys. I was just flipping y'all around. We're going to go out this door. Out onto our porch of the candy kitchen. And um, I'm going to take y'all out there and show y'all. Yes, these are. These are the cows. One of y'all asked me where I got this hanging pot to go on here, and I got that from um, Walmart, and it's actually a Better Homes and Garden. And just make you sure if you get anything you're going to plant in, that it's got a drain hole in the bottom, okay? Because if it rains, it will fill up with water, and it'll just, well, it'll kill your little plants, okay? So make sure it's got a, a drain hole in there if you get something like that. There they are. They're way over there. I wonder if I could zoom in and show y'all. But y'all see, that's right out my can and kitchen window is these beautiful cows. And they don't care if it's raining. They'll eat in a pretty good little storm. They'll just keep on eating. It's got to get pretty bad to get them to come in. But many of you were asking about our garden that we planted. And so I was going to walk y'all over there because it's right here too. We'll turn back around here. Try to do that slow so I wouldn't get everybody dizzy. That gets me dizzy, too, if I do that. Um, the little fig trees John planted for, for me are doing really, really good. And, oh, my stars. Look at there. It's actually got little bitty figs on it. Do y'all see that? Is that not precious? That's precious. And, y'all, the world is... um. Short on pine straw down here in Louisiana. <laughs> I guess COVID, I don't know. But normally where you can get lots and lots of pine straw, you cannot. So I'm going to have to go old school and go rake me some with all my lovely time. But anyway, um, I wanted to put that around my tomato plants. And so I had to put newspaper around it. And it's trying to blow around in the yard in the pasture. That's lovely. 
Y'all yeah, see, see all these little uh, purple, purple hull pea plants? plants that are they're coming up real good for us. Look at there. Yeah. And, and we've got, got our um, sunflowers. Y'all see they're already popping up big. And y'all, that one that long ago we planted these, was it? I know it. God just goes right to work on them, doesn't he? <laughs> With his weather and his love, here is our cucumber plants. Some of them are looking really, really good, but they're all coming up very nicely. Walk y'all along those. I'm just procrastinating mowing, aren't I? I know it. i got to get started. Y'all see all these rows. We're going to have lots and lots of cucumbers to pickle, aren't we? And here are our jalapeno plants. I did two of these rows and I saw uh, we've already got some jalapenos going, guys. We already do see those right there looking good. Look at these. <laughs> They're a pretty good size there. These are some tomatoes that are planted with y'all. Y'all remember that day? Look how tall they are already. I know, I know, just crazy, crazy, crazy. And here's some more of those tomatoes. Y'all see my, my trashy newspaper. <laughs> but anyway, I'm just keeping that dirty water off the foliage of these plants. But y'all see how tall they've already gotten? Looking good. So anyway, y'all, y'all look out. Y'all can see my grass is getting tall too. So I gotta get started on that. I'll mow. That section, I mow here, I mow on down around behind the pool, behind the house, all along the side, and it way up there at the front of the road. And then I have a huge backyard, I mean front yard, that goes on like this. Um, and then I got to mow all around here and down around the yard and up to the road by the can kitchen. So y'all see, it takes me a while, but I love it. I, that is not me complaining, that's me loving it. Yes, I do. I just, I just need, need more, more of me. <laughs> I guess we all do, though. I need that recipe for time. It doesn't even have to be homemade. I'll do a microwave recipe. I don't care, guys. Oh, look at these. These little lilies are starting to bloom. How pretty. How pretty. I didn't even see that coming down here. I'm glad I came out here with y'all so we can enjoy it together.